What is up everybody on YouTube? It is Manna Burda here with another video and today's video is going to be on some more fitteds and some snapbacks that I had recently copped. Now some of these are going to be from Lid, some of these are going to be from online, some of these are going to be from the thrift, and some of these are going to be from Chicago um, when I was out there shopping. So let's get into the actual hats that I did pick up and see what we got. Also guys, if you're looking for some steals and some eBay deals regarding some fitted hats, definitely look at the ad card up top where I do talk about some recent eBay pickups regarding some fitted hats. But now let's get into the newer pickups. As you guys can see right here, I do have 10 hats and I believe only seven of them are actually fitted and three of them are going to be snaps. So let's get into them. So right here, as you can see, I do have this pink and black combo right here for the LA Dodgers. And then on the side, we do have the 1959 Los Angeles All-Star Game patch right there. Beautiful patch, I actually really like that patch a lot. And a nice piece of detailing right here is underneath, we do have the pink brim. And then on the back, we do have some pink detailing with the MLB logo. This right here is going to be a seven and one halves, as this is going to fit my longer hair. Now next, we do have this Oakland Athletics right here in the Kelly Green. This is gonna be Kelly Green all around, and then you're gonna have the white Athletics right there on the front. And then underneath, you're going to have that black underbrim. Which I hate when people say the black underbrim is not cool or not nice because really it is. It's actually really nice and I prefer it on most hats. Not all hats, but I do prefer it on some hats. So maybe not most, I take that back. Now on the back of this hat, you're gonna see it's gonna have Kelly green, white, and the typical Oakland yellow right there on the back, just so you guys know whose team it is. Now right here, we do have a Mitchell and Ness snapback. This is going to be a Trailblazers hat. This one's going to be really nice as it does have baby blue, white, and black as a mixture. It's gonna be a two-toner right there and you can see the detailing is really nice. Baby blue snaps on the back, Mitchell Ness embroidered on the back, and then the front is gonna have all three colors as mentioned. Baby blue brim and then under visor is going to be black as well. This was caught from Lids. It was only 35 bucks. And as I live in Portland here, this is definitely going to be a nice hat to rock. Maybe throw on those UNCs or some Hyper Royals, I don't know, but you already know the fit's gonna look good. And really quickly guys, if you are liking this video, please give this a thumbs up as it does help me up in the algorithm and boost me up. So I appreciate that. Right here, I did pick this one up from Chicago. This one is going to be a seven and three eighths. This is going to be in a stonewash black and then it's going to have a creamish socks logo. On the side, you're going to have the American baseball logo. And on the very back, the MLB logo is going to have Chicago white socks embroidered right above that. And that's also going to be in that blackish stonewash color along with the ivory embroidery as well. But this one actually caught me by surprise, so I actually had to pick this one up along with the great underbrim. So this was a really nice one. Now this snapback as well, I did pick up in Chicago. This one's going to be an all suede snapback. Now this is just different. Now I'm not used to having a suede on my head, but it's a nice feeling guys, it's something different. But definitely don't wear this one out in the rain as it will ruin the suede. And then right there on the back of the snaps, it's going to match the exact same color of suede, which is going to be this nice, very, very light gray. Maybe like a uh, maybe like a whitish gray. Now as far as your visor, it's gonna be the same top and bottom with the exact same color. And then up next, this is actually purchased in Chicago as well from the Harley store. This is going to be a gray snapback and then on the back in black embroidery, it says it's Chicago, Harley Davidson of Wrigleyville, Chicago, Illinois. This hat was only $35 with the gray snap on the back. All around on this hat right here, it's gonna be the exact same colors, sweatband, front, bottom, top, everywhere. The only color you're gonna see right there is gonna be the front logo in orange. And then up next right here, we do have a seven and one fourth Harley Davidson hat in all black. Top, bottom, all around is gonna be black, just like the last one, except in black. And then the front color is gonna be orange for the Harley Davidson logo. Now one piece of detailing on this that is actually very nice. With New Era, typically you have like the MLB or the NFL logo on the back. This one's actually going to be the Harley Davidson logo on the very back. So I really like that piece of detailing and I had to pick that up while I was in Chicago. Now for those of you wondering why do I have Harley Davidson hats and um, I do actually have a Harley. So that's one thing guys, if you guys do not have a Harley Davidson, do not wear these hats, do not wear the shirts, do not wear any of them, cause you're not about it. So if you're gonna wear it, be about it, okay? So you guys can see I'm, I'm about it. And actually, if you guys wanna see the custom build of me making my Harley Davidson, there'll be an ad card up here up top for you guys to actually check that out. Um, intensive, extensive work, check it out. It's really dope. And then up next, I did get this in downtown Chicago at the Nike store. This is going to be the throwback pinstriped Nike basketball script hat. And this is actually gonna be a collab with Sports Specialties. I'm not too sure if Nike bought them out or not, but I believe they did. Um, but either way, Sports Specialties definitely was making the nice vintage caps back in the day. I do have a couple pairs of their hats, very nice. And then on the back, we're gonna have the black snap. And then up top, we're gonna have the Nike embroidered right there in black. 
Now, sticking with the same old school theme, like the 90s, you're gonna have the green underbrim. So overall, this is definitely a nostalgic hat and definitely fits that vibe, and I'm very excited to rock this one. Like I said, it is a snap, so it's gonna stick with me for a long time. Now, right here, we do have this Detroit Tigers hat in orange. It's gonna have that slime green right there with a little bit of black. Um, I actually really like this hat a lot, really because it reminds me of Gunna's Drip Season. Um, album so I'm definitely rocking this just for that. This is a seven and five eighths I did find this at the thrift for I believe about four dollars or so And you're gonna have that nice orange all around the entire hat with that little minor detailing of color Even on the back the MLB coloring is going to be the exact same with white black and that slime green Now lastly right here. I do have a Pittsburgh Pirates right there a seven and one fourths This is gonna be the two-tone. It's gonna be that creamish top and then you're gonna have the black top visor with the gray under visor and then on the back unfortunately the colors were not perfected on this one it's gonna be white blue and red and that is not anywhere near the colors that you see in the front so I'm a little bit disappointed on this one but this hat is from hat club this was about $55 called the X chrome two-tone pirates this hat's not too bad but I did buy it as I am from Portland the piece dope right there and I have been to Philly so Pennsylvania same thing Pittsburgh what's the difference right I'm just kidding guys but Cop the hat, I really like it, um, and here it is. Yeah. But that's gonna do it for me, guys. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, please give this video a thumbs up as it does help me up in the algorithm. And if you're new here, definitely subscribe as I do post Monday and Thursdays. Like I said, 10 hats for you guys to check out right here. They're new pickups. If you wanna see some old recent pickups, definitely check out the ad card up top or in the description. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Nothing else for me to say, guys, except follow my Instagram at Yomon Alberta, where I do post daily content regarding sneakers, streetwear outfits, caps, and much more. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Stay fresh and stay fly. I'm out.